Good afternoon and welcome back to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida for live coverage of the launch of the Orbital ATK Commercial Resupply Services Mission 4 or CRS-4 to the International Space Station. This is Atlas Launch Control. We're at T-minus 32 minutes, 34 seconds and counting. A whole different picture uh, that we're looking at today weather-wise. On Thursday, NASA, Orbital ATK, and United Launch Alliance all were go for launch, but Mother Nature was not go, and launch was attempted, but because of the inclement weather, it turned into a launch rehearsal. In the parlance of Rocketeers, it was a wet dress rehearsal, both literally and figuratively. Rain showers soaked the Space Launch Complex 41 here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station throughout the final hours of the countdown, and launch rules for thick clouds and disturbed weather were violated. Launch Director Bill Cullen scrubbed the launch at 6.11 p.m., about 14 minutes before the end of the launch window last night. But on the positive side, a wet dress rehearsal exercises all the aspects of a launch team and the hardware, and the NASA, Orbital, ATK, and ULA teams gained useful experience from yesterday's attempt. The Atlas rocket was fully fueled, and Orbital ATK powered up its SS Deke Slayton II spacecraft in the final minutes before the launch was scrubbed. So today, with that experience under its belt, the team has returned to consoles around the country here in the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, in the Cygnus Mission Control Center in Dulles, Virginia, and the Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas. We're shooting for liftoff at the opening of a 30-minute launch window at 5.33 and 12 seconds p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That time was adjusted by one second. We currently are in a 60% uh, probability of violation scenario, 40% go. Uh, but again, everything appears to be trending in a good direction. This is Atlas Launch Control. <laughs> 